There we are. Let's see. Uh, we're coming into our first portage today. One of three. It's the longest one. It's 1 1.2. I guess uh, we're not going to chance it. It uh, looks okay here, but we don't know, being 1.2k, what we might be passing. And it looks well used, so probably a lot of people uh, use it. Anyways, that's what we're going to start going up on. And uh, yeah, it's going to uh, get the boat up there and get on that trail. Off into the crow. Alright, so this is the 1.2. Uh, we just crossed the uh, road crossing back there. Anyways, the trail did start out um, slight incline, but now it looks like it's uh, leveled out. It's pretty good. Um, we're doing this full carry right now. So far, so good. But uh, we're not going to uh, push ourselves if we uh, if we need to stop and rest. We're going to do that. Anyhow, this is the 1.2 now. Like I said, after crossing the road and going up that slight incline, it's pretty good. So uh, we're just going to uh, keep walking away here, hopefully get to the end, we should be almost half by now. <sighs> Anyways, portage away. Alright, so just reaching the end here, I just got my pack, I left the boat about, uh, I don't know, 5 minutes back or so, 5-10 minutes back. So uh, we just finished the 1.2, or I did. I gotta go back get the boat, she's back there still too. I'm a little bit of ways away, but uh, anyways, back on the crow, and now we have rain. So it looks like we're gonna have scatter showers today too. But uh, anyways, that's not so bad right now, because right now I'm sweating. So uh, it's a nice little break. But anyhow, back down the crow. Two portages left. I uh, got a bit of a paddle and a 155, then a bit of a paddle, I think it's a 205 or something like that. And then uh, that's it. And a uh, big crow. So today's a treat. There we go. Crow River. Here's the 1.2 we came from. There we go. Ooh, good stuff. All right, there we go. Last portage of the day, three of three done. That was the 240. So now we got a little bit more of the Crow River and then into Big Crow. Find a site there in Big Crow for the night, uh, hopefully close to the, uh, the 3.7 for tomorrow. That's it, here we are. Oh, beautiful out here. Nice open here. Look at that. Alright. Alright, here we are. We're uh, taking the uh, 1.5k, the White Pines, uh, Virgin White Pine hiking trail here. It's supposed to be uh, some of the largest in North America here, largest and oldest. So, we're just doing the trail. Quite a bunch of uh, steep up over there. And then, uh, Seems to level it out okay, but uh, anyways, we're just gonna uh, take this trail and see what. Uh, check them out while we're here. It's still pretty early in the day, and we're standing big crow. That's it. Take more of the trail.
and heading back. Now we're on the, uh, this is that steep hill that you go up when you're first starting near the start of it. So I don't even know if you can get how, how steep this is, but uh, anyways, I think I should put the camera now while I'm doing this part. It's not too, too bad. You just got to watch your footing and, uh, you know, just take it slow. Don't rush down this. But otherwise, it's not overly bad. Just make sure you got the right shoes. I got these hiking ones. Anyways, like I say, slow, watch your step, and you should be good to go. I don't know if I do it in the rain. That's it. Okay, gonna head down. Huh. Back at the Crow River here. Need a little trail. Um, if you've got the time, you know, and the energy, check it out. Um, it's not something that you have to see, but um, if you, like I said, if you have the uh, time and the energy, yeah, why not? I would check it out. Pretty cool to see those huge trees. <laughs> huge, very old trees. So, anyways, we're gonna uh, get back in the boat here. Someone else came up here and uh, it's going along, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna head uh, that way into Big Crow. Find a site. All right, so we made it to Big Crow. There's the boat down there. So we come up, uh, come out of there, and a couple people took that site there. So we kept paddling up, and there's a site here that we're at right now, and there's a site just after. But we decided to keep paddling because the portage for tomorrow is way down there. Um, but as we were paddling, a couple of people were paddling the other way, and the site to the east side on the island there is taken. So right now, I don't know if you can see, but we've stopped because Big Crow is being kind of mean right now, uh, quite the wave. So what we might do, we're either going to take this site, but what I would prefer is to be on that side of the lake and preferably at the site closest to the portage. So we're going to still play it out. We're going we're to chill out here for a bit now. If it calms down, we'll try to make it across. Uh, or worst case, we have this site here. It's a pretty decent site. So, I don't know, we'll see what happens and uh, I don't know, we'll take a break anyways. And uh, I gotta do a little bit of boat repair. Got a little hole that's starting to leak again, so I have to try to patch that up a little. Whew, Big Crow, wow. You're a mean one today, Big Crow. Yeah, we're calling it on this site, Big Crow Lake. We are in the right lake though, so that's a good thing. Um, just the wind's uh, still pretty good. Um, we don't know what might be happening weather-wise. I think it should be okay. Uh, maybe a little bit of rain, but mostly the wind, and we have to go that way. Um, that's, that's the way we're supposed to be headed, but uh, we're still on the lake, so we're on the site, um, setting stuff up. We got the tent up, tarp, uh, all our food under the tarp, and the tent's being set up. Otherwise, that's it. You got the fire pit there, tarp, tent, and uh, a pretty large site. But it's slanted this one though. This is the uh, second one beside the Crow River. There's the one with the beach site there. We have a non-beach site, and there's a beach site beside us. Uh, we passed that beach site uh, when it was empty. Uh, we weren't too sure whether to go on or stop, but uh, we started to go on, and then, anyways, we ended up here. It's not. It's all right. We're still on the lake. We should be. So that's it. Just uh, bunkering down here on uh, on Big Crow. Well, sometimes you just have to spoil yourself here. We got here still pretty early, I think about 3, 3.30. And uh, everything's done. We got clothes up there. I don't know what I've told you already, but it's tent there. And I've put up a hammock here. So it's pretty good. Got the sleeping bag out now. Just relax in here in it. Ah, just relax. And this was one of our short days. My suggestion to you if you're planning a trip, a long trip, have a day or two every now and then where you can just relax. It's very windy though. Anyways, there we go. Big Crow Lake. Look at that. Yep. That's okay. We're on a site. 
Uh, time for bed. Alright, so it's about, I don't know, I think it's about 9.30, 9.30 p.m. or so, and uh, we're calling it a night. Um, we've been relaxing so much, we're just getting tired, and um, you know what, the weather, we're not, we don't really run a campfire. And then tomorrow, we got uh, we got a paddle across Big Crow, then the 3.7 K Portage. So those two combined right there, uh, we decided to go to sleep early, and hopefully, we'll see how that works, but uh, hopefully wake up early. Um, we're generally, uh, we never wake up usually before 9, if, if even that. So, anyways, we're going to uh, hit the hay here, call it a day, and uh, say goodbye to day 4.